What's up, YouTube? Um, I was able to find this. We was able to find this little bandit, uh, bando cabin, and the wall. It, it, it could be better, but I cleaned it up a little bit for my um tarp and stuff. But um, uh, to keep out of the rain, we're not in the rain. No, we're not in the rain no more. Yeah, it's not in the rain. But um, at least um. It's gonna be cool, and I'll finish the video in the yard tomorrow. But um, we was able to find this to get the elements here in the in the Livonia yard. I'll post from Livonia to New Orleans pretty soon. What's up, YouTube? Um, I was able to find this. We was able to find this little bandit, a uh, bando cabin, and the wall. It, it, it could be better, but I cleaned it up a little bit for my um tarp and stuff. But um, uh, to keep out of the rain, we're not in the rain. No, we're not in the rain no more. Yeah, it's not in the rain, but um, at least um. It's gonna be cool, and I'll finish the video in the yard tomorrow. But um, we was able to find this to get the elements here in, Lo in the Livonia yard. I'll post from Livonia to New Orleans pretty soon. control hump dog that's going to the pack and train into the Livonia hump we got to go walk through this field to pretty much maneuver recon this away from the hump It's gonna be a hard mission. We're gonna feel it. This right here is the abandoned sawmill that you, you can actually hide into and stay at the rain and elements if you had to while you're on the train. But it's about a mile and a half from the departure area of the yard. So, uh, what we're gonna do is gonna bust the left right here and go to this field and sneak up way down to the departure unit and do some recon. Go about ninja style to find that New Orleans train. So this is Livonia Yard. This is why I say it's the off the course of Louisiana. We got a makeshift bridge right here. I can't care about The soles are already coming off my shoes. I'm gonna try to do it at once. Just bring the dog first over here. Uh, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm about to bust my ass. <laughs> Watch out. Go on, man. Oh, shit. Pull your leg up. Keep pulling. <laughs> now it's gonna be slicker than the motherfucker. I got you over here. Alright. On the phone. <laughs> Alright. You can do it, babe. You can do it. Go. Go, dog. Hand me the leash. This dog's big enough he can walk. Yay. Now you should get him up there. He's walking stuff. Grab him. I got him. Okay. Now. Nah. Alright. Go back up. Give me my stuff. Hey, don't let him go. I ain't. I got you. Okay. Stand. Just chill. Got you. No, no, no. No, we're gonna pull you. Oh, bitch. Alright. He's off the lead. I 
go. Grab the things of water too, if we left. Knuckles. Yeah, throw me the water. Go <laughs> phone you lose Anna for you. <laughs> Fuck yeah. We gotta say to fucking YouTube about that. Oh man. <laughs> this is a fucking blast. Fuck <laughs> Fuck Hobo life. <laughs> So we about to do some crazy shit. That's some train course shit right here. We tired of waiting. This new this gondola will be in New Orleans by 8.30 a.m. We're going to go over this minor hump they got. You know? <laughs> Everything should shift that way and not on us. This is just small debris. It ain't really nothing to hurt us too much. It's going to be a hell, hell of a BAM! But we won't make it. So, you know, does anyone got any to say about before we go to the home? What's your feelings about this? Uh, <laughs> Have you ever been over the hump before? I've never been over a hump. I'm going to finish this beer because I'm going to be good and drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared to get the hump? Uh, I ain't scared of getting humped, but I'm a little scared of getting humped. <laughs> just a bit. I, 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 you just don't want to get humped by Uncle Pete. I don't want to get humped by Uncle Pete. But, but, he, if he spits on it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Uncle Pete? He's trying to... <laughs> um. <laughs> Uncle Pete <laughs> now you see why I called it the losing obstacle course, right? So, well, this is part of the, the trait hop for Livonia. We'll be out of Livonia, out of motherfucking New Orleans. This is what we're up against, y'all. I want no, hold on. you can't see nothing right here. We're stuck right in the middle of this fucking yard. But what's not the middle of the cow? middle of a fucking sugar cane field there's nothing here absolutely nothing it's a bunch of dishes nothing to hide in so what do you think about going over that bridge <laughs> i got stuck but it wasn't too bad it was it was it was an early obstacle course i mean it's not for the faint of heart i think we should apologize to 100 that lost his ladder <laughs> <laughs> we, we borrowed hunter's ladder to get to his uh I'm sure he'll find it. He just nailed a couple of nails back. <laughs> we should have wrote train kids or hobos need bridge hobos permanent. Need bridge. Did not build a boat right in the middle of the damn train tr <laughs> yard. No, it was gnarly. It was all muddy. I got, I got my feet stuck in the mud. I had to walk barefoot. Like, it was good. But it's not compared to what's this roller coaster ride. We about to, you say you want to ride for eight? We about to, it, shit, is, this, is this level 10? Uh, yeah, this is level 9 or 10, for sure. <laughs> Nola by morning. Nola by morning, that's what counts. What do you think, buddy? Bougie? What do you think, buddy? You just want some more crackers. He wants some more crackers than the bar that works. Lost three fucking gallons of water. Oh, <laughs> three, three gallons of water. We do got a little.
Yeah, yeah. This is when the hard charge moves in. Right. We're doing it. Right. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll take, we'll ask you a question after the hump. Until we make it. Yeah. Hump by who? <laughs> so how it looks like. Uncle Pete. That was a shitty one too. I didn't really have time to get a good one, but let's see it. I just watched it. I took a glance. I did a shitty job. I really. Uh, I We're here in the small town of Meriquin, um, at Bobbins Supermarket. If you're stuck in Livonia Yard, this is about the best way, fastest way to do a store is through Meriquin. It's a small rail town. I don't know how many people live here, but it's very small. A little small town. Up there is one of the mains that southbound to New Orleans. Northbound back to uh, Livonia and Beaumont, Texas. Um, like I say, this, this, this is a major east-to-west interchange throughout the state of Louisiana uh, for Union Pacific. But it's a nice little town, nice people that live here. Small, small train um, town. I'm interested, I'll probably look up the history of the town. It probably was built by Unit Pacific. Unit Pacific had a lot to do with this building this town, probably. Uh, you find that often in small towns, but rather by tracks that they would donate maybe to help with resources and stuff. And I'll check into that. But it's some of the good food you can get here. It's a guy that sells the um, stuff down at the, at the um, shed. Kind of like, like uh, he sells homemade food and stuff. It's, it's really good. So I just bought us some of that. It's a little small town. We're headed back to the yard and try to do it again. What do you think about this yard? Is it hard? It's hard. It's hard. It's tricky. It's tricky. Sure. Level 10 free hopping. The way out of Louisiana. But we, we was actually on the train this morning and it wasn't a good ride. It wasn't it was just a wedge, no no wall. And ten minutes later, what happened? It left the second we got off. It's like it was waiting for us to get off. But we found them gondolas yesterday. We thought it was out. We thought we'd be in New Orleans by eight thirty AM. We was going to uh, actually uh ride the hump and wait it out, you know. But it changed the itinerary to the seventh. So it'll leave sometime tonight. We've got to be watching out for that. Yeah, we got to find that gondola. Yeah, so what's what we waiting on? It's the 24 hours ago we tried to catch out here. So this uh, catching out was 24 hours. Add the time we spent in the rain, 40 hours of volume. We were ready to get the hell out of here. Uh, Walking in the field, this is what we're up against, you know. This is what we're up against. Actually, no hiding spots for a, for a couple, just a couple loopholes. Pray we get out of here. Oh, it's picking up speed like a motherfucker. Nope. Worker over there. What breeze that hat? She said it went on buildings over there. This fucking worker. I'll come over here. I'm about to do some recon work. Where these cut box cars. New Orleans bound, but ain't nothing else connected to them right now. So I'm trying to figure out when it's going to get connected to them. They're supposed to be there by two o'clock in the morning on the eighth. So they could sit here all day. They 
could be by, by night time, I don't know. Just keep my eyes peeled. I can't make my way over there because the worker. I'm too much stuck. The two bo the box car lines and the and the fucking uh rocks. Gravel right here. Too much stuff. Bonnie sucks, man. Sad part is we was on the train. We was on the train. We got out because it's daylight and it hadn't moved yet. Kept changing our itinerary. And it wasn't a good porch. This is a wedge. But, man. We got off on it. Three minutes later, started moving. Couldn't nothing we can do about it. This is a hard yard. Very hard yard. I'm scared to death to get stuck here or going to jail. Hopefully, we'll get out sometime today. Just hope. It's almost day three, but the first day don't really shouldn't really count because of the rain. But day three, Livonia. You want to say French? Say Livonia. Yay! Yay! It's not in the word. <laughs> we got this cool farmer. He's far. He's farther back now. You can't really see. But he's really good at giving us recon signals and helping us hide from the workers. Very cool fucking good guy. Very cool. That's what we up against. The box cars down there in the, in the side are going to New Orleans. So far, it's only fucking box cars. It's only like maybe 20 of them. So hopefully they'll connect power and connect more. A couple grainers or something. And go. That one box car we saw earlier yesterday it was in a different section. It wasn't really connected to this box car yet, and it actually took off towards the hump. Heading to New Orleans. It was unloaded. Imagine that. I can open that thing in the right amount of time. If it only would connect it to this string right here. So far, them are loaded box cars. It says, do not hump. So I'm just guessing they're not going to hump it. <laughs> I mean, it says do not hunt, but they do weird shit here. They might just ignore it, you know. We was hiding in these control panels right here, and the worker just walked right up on us, didn't see us. I mean, it's a lot of security here, <laughs> but to be honest with you, hey, these workers ain't right? very smart here, you know. We already was saved. We, we got ran up on at one o'clock in the morning by a worker, and he ended up buying, a, getting us uh, a case of water. So we had some inside help with a case of water. What do you think about Lavonia? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not yay. I'm ready to leave as quickly as possible. Ain't no yay involved. Huh? Ain't no yay involved. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> we did find a hop though. When the work, we st recently stayed by the building, this cause a lot of train kids have been tagging that building. And hop out. one says, "Let's get anal. We're stuck." <laughs> the secret is you gotta go from what's that town? Mariquin. 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 You gotta come from Mariquin. You gotta walk in the shadows at night all along this pond until you get to these control shacks, and then you see some tagging. You can hang out behind that control shack, and uh, they ain't gonna see you. But they would do a bunch of stuff in there and crap. In the daytime. In the daytime, so you don't want to go to these trees over here, hang out here. Yeah, so. And be real nice to the farmer because he's an awesome guy. He's all telling me to get down, stay low, because he's <laughs> he went over the same line of grass three times. <laughs> Go check on the worker for me while I was hiding behind the shack. Oh, he was, the worker was working right there. He's like, Shh, stay down. I'll, I'll pretend to be all normal. Again. <laughs> <laughs> he's super cool, man. So just be respectful to that guy because he's he's a really nice guy. We had to go to town and get supplies. That's the yard right there in the lights. You see, it's the yard where a few miles from where we need to catch out at. That's how long this yard goes. It goes for miles and fields. And um, hopefully we'll be out here soon. This is
we um was in town. No, we did pretty good. We got fifty dollars kicked down to us. We charged the phone. Uh, cop did talk to us. Kind of. Well, about Ray told us to make our way out of here, but he was really nice about it. Um, there was a writer that possibility got put off today, got caught. So, you know, this is a hard obstacle course we are hoping to complete. So, there. It's probably not going to leave until tomorrow morning. Yeah. It's, 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 it's got power. There's no crew in that power. But at least they're, they're, that means they're finished building this train. So hopefully it's some rideables past this boxcar. And that'd be real, really fast. I'm going to do a few seconds on this video because I got to get the hell half of a quarter mile up the road before I get seen on this main thoroughway. I'm going to hell get on here and I don't want to get caught now. I don't remember how we did this yesterday. I think we ran over this. This is what we needed that staff at yesterday. Uh, I got over it. Need help? No, I got it. This is the engine of our train right here. Uh, back in the sugar can I go. This is the box cars that's supposed to be going to NOLA. And they still hadn't added on to it. It's supposed to be at NOLA by 3.30 p.m. And this is right here. So we got lead, it's the auto racks. We got lead engine on it. Um, they're going to NOLA, but they all loaded. They had no way I'm getting really, this is really a no ride. You can't really break into it to ride. If you did, there'd be a major felony. Uh, since there's loaded cars in there. And it wouldn't be really smart. I mean, you probably can get away with it. But it's not really good. There's no DPU on it. Unless they might add one. I don't know. There's two road engines up there. And it's all loaded. It seems like they would need some kind of pusher but there's nothing in there unless they want to add it. But probably won't. Probably won't. Two inches probably can do the, do the job. I just don't know. So, see him get in there. You see closely that's a white car in there. Yeah, see, it's a white car. And this is what the doors look, look like. You know, really hard to get in there. So, so much has got to be really patient here. So we found out that the wires up there are cameras everywhere. I'm surprised they ain't picked this up yet. This was what's hiding there. You know, it's two hot things. I'm trying to wait on this train. This train right here, this is supposed to be the departure yard. You know what happens? That's, it's, it's, it, that's the new trains are in the bowl. They're departed to hump. They're still all fucked up. We waited and waited and waited and jumped on trains and jumped on trains. His box cars been here for days. They keep saying they're going to New Orleans by 3.30 p.m. And then when that time comes, they change the fucking date. Uh, at this point, I'm, I think we're pretty fed up with this yard. We may have to hitch to Baton Rouge, 23 miles east. You can definitely jump on a Canyon City Southern train to New Orleans around Maid's Yard and behind McDonald's in Metairie. That's where it goes. Um, worst case scenario in Baton Rouge, you could take CN to Jackson, jump off in Jackson and take an IM to New Orleans pretty fast. That's the worst case. Then we called out to Memphis a few times. And I have called out to New Orleans a few times in Baton Rouge. Easy hopping back. About 
Chippewa Street. We just have to get our bearings. We're going to the city of America and get some food. I just want to show you them, them cameras right there. It's fucking fuck the yard. Never recommend this yard. This is the only hope. It's, gonna, it's the only hope that this is going to be a deep view. It's going to stop and it's going to be unlocked. That's the only hope right now. Can this be it? It probably is not. They stopped up there. Stop way up there. It's flying down the American Louisiana right there. It's approaching the four-way. It's about to enter the town of the American. So it stopped. American and, and have a DPU reaching down here. That's the question. And will this DPU be unlocked? That's another question. Train guys, step us to New Orleans. Train guys, train guys, slow down. The thing's going so fast it looks like four fuck nuts. Definitely can't catch it. It's only three, but it looks like four. One, two, three, four. Huh? One, two, three, four. Huh? Stop America. Stop America. Stop, stop, stop. Let me you. Just run over and take me all the way to New Orleans. It's flying, and it's flying, but will it stop? If it stops in America, the DPU might reach here. This is an ethanol train. They're miles long. And it's sorry, some bitches don't even use a DPU. This is Lavonia for ya. Lavonia. Say hey to New Orleans for me. Hey. What's up, you two? Uh, finally caught a siding last night in Livonia, and we made it. The phone was dead. The charge bank was dead. Couldn't nothing we can do. Uh, we're sighted at 10 miles from Avenue Yard right now. Uh, so this is best I can do. I'm sorry. The yard really sucks, but you can see how hard it is for me to take to get out as you watch this video. But we did make it out of Livonia into Avondale. We did that. We did that. I was wondering, Wolf, um, as we was coming off the, um, we were getting ready to bail off the train in Ama, Louisiana, which is 10 miles from Avondale Yard in New Orleans. Um, St. Charles Parish pulled up uh, because I plugged in my phone at a, at a house to try to get a little bit of charge to figure out where I was at because my phone and my phone phone bank was on dead. Um, the reason I didn't get much video because my phone was dead. And as soon as um, the St. Charles Parish police officers pulled us off the train, I had an old attachment from 2014. I was arrested in Jefferson Parish. I was I just got out of the jail. I'm on the West Bank of New Orleans. I'm really trying to get over there to the East Bank. I had eight in like four days because I've been stressed out. I am definitely out of jail now. Um, so th that's what happened. We made it out of Livonia on a, on, on a on Siding American. And we made it to Amy Louisiana, which is 10 miles from Avondale Yard. And we end up um, 
getting a ticket. Brianna, um, Bree got her um, ticket summons, and I got arrested for criminal trespassing and two attachments. I got out of jail. I'm, I'm okay now. Um, two days time served for the criminal trespassing and the two attachments. I got a, I got a um, court date of April 20th, but um, it's all good. It's about a matter of paying a little bit of money to the court systems. Um, get, get get out of the way. Get out of that. Get that stuff out of the way. But that's what happened. Um, so it's all good.